Hi everyone, this is my second JavaScript tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to create a lightbox. A lightbox is basically an element that sits on top of everything else on your page when something is clicked. You can think about Facebook when you click on a photo. It typically opens up on an element above everything else and the background becomes black. So we'll be doing something similar. So what you want to do first is download jQuery obviously and put it in your header. Create some style tags and we're going to be making two, three elements actually. A button which I already have made right here which will execute the function. We'll be making a wrapper tag which will be black and we will be making the actual lightbox. So first thing you want to do is do the styling. And don't forget with the body, padding is zero. So the wrapper, we want the position to be absolute because we don't want it to affect anything else on the page that you may put there. The left is going to be zero pixels, top is going to be zero pixels, height is a hundred percent, width a hundred percent, and this is I like to always add opacity to this because it looks kind of cool that you can see everything in the background. And give it something like 0.7. The next element we're going to create is the light box, or we're going to style, I should say. We're also going to position this absolutely with this. We're going to set to 600 pixels. Height is, let's say, 400 pixels, and we're going to have to align this in, in the center. To align this in the center, all you want to do is you say left 50%, which brings that left corner of the box and halfway through the page. Then you want to take your total width, subtract it in half, and margin left negative, sorry, 300, not 200, and that will center your div. Give it whatever kind of border you want, and a radius. And background color white. Now we're ready to script the light box. We're going to program the click to do this. So just follow along with my typing. So now we have programmed a click for the button. Now if we put an alert in here, let's go to the live view and we click this, we should get an alert. And there you go, there's the alert. I always like to make sure things are working because sometimes you will mistype something by accident. So it's always good to verify things are working every once in a while. So now what we first wanna do is this isn't just going to pop up and appear, we're going to add a fade effect. So the first thing we want to do is create the wrapper. I'm sorry, you need to add a display none to both of these because you obviously do not want them to display. So now we want to do a body dot append because we are appending something to the page. And then we want it to fade in because obviously it's not visible at this point. After this has faded in, 
we want the page to create the lightbox element. And that is done like so. Now let's see how our coding looks in the browser. I use Firefox. Well, see, obviously I typed something in wrong. What did I do wrong? And I'm not exactly sure what I did wrong here. I know. We never appended the light box into the actual body. And the reason why you want to append this into the body is if you append it into the wrapper, it's going to look transparent like the wrapper. All right, now let's take a look at this. And obviously I forgot the background color or I mistyped something. I missed the scene background. Let's try this again. And there is your light box. You know, you see how this click me button isn't even affected in any way. It's not pushed anywhere or anything. We can add some styling for me to prove this to you. Now if you want to add a close button onto this, what you would want to do is I always like to add maybe like a P tag inside of this lightbox div. Make it look something like that. And in the styling, do a text align. Right. And then what you want to do is you want to program it where if that is clicked, everything will be removed. So P dot click function. First, we'll take out the light box. See what's wrong with my coding here? Because I missed an apostrophe there, or a quote, I mean. Fade out function. And I should add that it's, once they fade out, the display noun will be added back onto them. So let's try this. Hopefully I coded this right. And there you go. And that is how you make a light box in jQuery and JavaScript. Hope you enjoyed my tutorial. If you enjoyed it, please leave a comment or subscribe.